Our youngest son had started kindergarten and we had two older daughters and just kind of thinking, what's the next stage for us? And we met some foster families and got to talking about a foster to adopt. I never thought I would be at this point in my life um, single with no children. We heard numbers, but we didn't see the faces. Once we started seeing those faces, this is real life kids that need those families and need that help. We decided to get full-fledged into foster care. We literally felt a call to foster. We had three bio kids. We wanted to just love on children. It's not easy. It's not always natural and normal feeling, but it's something that I knew I was supposed to do. And, and if God lays that on your heart, you can do it. We've been fostering approximately eight years and we've had around 54 children in our home. And so it takes all of us to do it. it it's not just one of us. The decision was already made before she came to our home that we were going to take care of her regardless. She's cute, beautiful, and fun, but it wouldn't have mattered. With one knock of the door, I became a mother. I was handed a beautiful little baby boy and all of the nerves and anxiety I had about my first placement, they were instantly gone and all of those motherly instincts that I knew I had kicked in and um, it was pretty awesome. There's something with every child that's been in our home, something will happen that'll click to one of us and we'll say, oh, you remember such and such, love that. Because once they're in your heart, they're your kid. That's the exciting part of fostering is you don't know what God has in store, but it is the plan that he had for us and I wouldn't trade it for anything.